Have you ever stumbled upon something completely unexpected? Life is full of surprises after all, and there's no telling what will happen each day. You might be doing the same routine every day, but there's still a chance that life will throw something surprising at you. Just take a look at these ordinary people who made some pretty interesting finds. Here are several of the weirdest and most interesting things people found in the most random places. From a haunted doll with human teeth to possibly the largest spider in the world, here are 15 incredible things people found. Number 15. Voodoo doll made with human teeth and snake skin. Walking along the beach is pretty fun. The sun, white sand, and the ocean waves lapping on the shore make it a perfect relaxing time. But I guess it's a little bit different if you're in Florida. After all, there are a lot of things you have to worry about. Crocodiles, alligators, sharks and apparently random cursed artifacts that somehow find their way to Florida waters. In 2019, a man named Bruce Robertson was robbed of his relaxing stroll when he stumbled upon this horrifying doll. Bruce saw the doll along Cape Canaveral Beach, and despite the hideous appearance of the doll, he decided to take a look at the strange thing up close and even snap a few photos of it. The mysterious doll spooked the other beachgoers, though, who demanded Bruce to immediately throw the doll back into the ocean. Honestly, I would have said the same. According to the locals who saw the doll from afar, it looked like a voodoo doll used in rituals. And they might have been correct. The doll was made out of coconuts, and to complete the look, someone had the great idea to put real human teeth in the doll's mouth, or what was supposed to be its mouth. Bruce also claimed that several patches of the doll were covered with real snake skin. Luckily, Bruce got home safely that day, and it seems like he didn't get cursed or suffer from ill luck. Rather, he even claimed that the doll might be a lucky doll from Africa. I don't think that's the case, though. The doll might still be out there in the ocean. So if you ever see this while walking on your local beach, remember to toss it back where you found it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Doll in the Wall I guess there's a good reason why a lot of people are terrified of dolls. These toys are everywhere. In May 2022, a teacher named Jonathan Lewis shared the strangest thing he found in his new home in Liverpool. The man was renovating his house, and in the process, he destroyed a wall under the stairs. He was incredibly shocked by what he found. An orange-haired doll clad in a dainty outfit sitting on a small chair. It's normal to find the possessions of past tenants when you move into a new apartment, but why would they put a doll behind the drywall? The presence of the doll in itself was terrifying, but what made him more unnerved was the letter beside the doll. It read, Dear Reader, New House Owner, Thank you for freeing me. My name is Emily. My original owners lived in this house in 1961. I didn't like them, so they had to go. All they did was sing and be merry. It was sickening. Stabbing was my choice of death for them, so I hope you have knives. Hope you sleep well. Now I don't know about you, but regardless of whether the entire thing was a silly prank or not, I would be pretty uncomfortable my first night in a new house if I found something like this. But Jonathan quickly put the chilling discovery behind him. He claimed that the walls showed signs of being broken down before. So it's highly likely that the past tenants left this doll behind the drywall for the new tenant to find. What's more, the letter obviously didn't come from 1961, judging from the paper and the handwriting. But considering the house was empty for years, it was still one of the longest-running pranks anyone had ever done. Number 13. Prohibition-era whiskey The people living in the United States in the 1820s and 30s saw some pretty big changes in the country. It was a time when people wanted change. Many wanted a more peaceful era without slavery, war, and most of all, vices. In 1838, the state of Massachusetts passed a law banning the sale of spirits in less than 15-gallon quantities. The temperance law was followed by new ones, which were much stricter than the one before. Fast forward to 1920, and the national prohibition of alcohol was enforced. The government wanted to see if it could reduce crime and corruption and solve social problems. The law was also passed to hopefully solve the worsening conditions in prisons, poorhouses, and other parts of America. The National Prohibition banned the manufacture, sale, and transport of alcoholic beverages. No budget or funds were provided aside from token enforcement. It was expected that the law would be difficult to uphold, 
The nationwide ban on the sale and import of alcoholic beverages quickly turned into a problem instead of the solution it was supposed to be. A lot of people tried to make do with what they had. People who couldn't last a day without drinking became desperate and did everything just to get their hands on alcohol. But when there's a demand, opportunists will try to provide the supply. In 2020, a couple discovered some remnants of the effect of prohibition, also known as a noble experiment. When the couple bought their home in Ames, New York, their neighbors warned them that it was once the home of an eccentric bootlegger. They didn't believe the claims until they stumbled upon more than 60 bottles of smuggled whiskey from the Prohibition era within the walls and floorboards of their new house. Their lovely home was allegedly built in 1915, making the residence more than a century old. The discovery led to the couple learning more about the long history of their home. It turned out that the first residence of their house was a German immigrant by the name of Adolf Humpfner. He was known to be a secretive and eccentric man who always walked around in a buffalo hide coat. He also had several aliases, which he most likely used as a moniker for his many secret properties. So why did Humpfner leave behind his precious whiskey stash when he could have sold it at an incredibly high price at the time? Well, the infamous bootlegger died unexpectedly and he most likely didn't have the chance to sell or drink the alcoholic beverages. The couple ended up keeping a few bottles for themselves, while they decided to sell the rest of the bottles to collectors. On the market, each Prohibition-era whiskey bottle could go anywhere between $4 to a whopping $1,200. Number 12. Mummified Body Discovered in Ghost Ship In 2016, several fishermen saw a strange boat drifting aimlessly off the southern waters of the Philippines. Authorities of the town of Barobo, which was about 100 kilometers away from the boat, decided to investigate the suspicious boat. They expected to find no one on the boat, but some expected to see a stowaway hiding inside. However, none of the authorities expected to find a mummified body. Upon closer look, the authorities figured that no one was inside, but it soon became clear that it wasn't the case. In what looked like the radio room was a mummified body of a sailor still slumped over a desk. No one knows how long the boat was drifting aimlessly, and no one knows how much time had passed since the old man died. Police officers immediately inspected the boat to determine whether foul play was involved in the death of the man, but it seemed unlikely. The following autopsy revealed that the cause of death was acute mitocardial infarction, a heart attack. After inspection of the mummified body, authorities determined that the body had been dead for about a week when it was found. The identity of the man was also revealed by German authorities. He was 59-year-old Manfred Fritz Bajerat. In the right conditions, a human body can mummify in two weeks. Given that the 59-year-old was at sea in a tropical climate surrounded by salty water, his body dried up in just a few days. What's more, the corpse was also in an enclosed space which stopped insects from consuming the body and quickening the decomposition. Number 11. Dog Finds 300 Million Year Old Fossil Dog owners know how much their pets like to chew on bones. As long as it's the right kind and size, giving bones to your pet dog will do them a lot of good. These tasty treats satisfy your dog and keep them occupied. I guess it makes sense that some dogs are literal bone magnets. In 2012, a dog named Kitty stumbled upon an incredible find while walking along Nova Scotia. A 300 million year old fossil. The Keating family was incredibly surprised by what their pet found. They found a fossilized rib cage, backbone, and partial sail. A few weeks later, the family decided to go back to the location, and there they found the creature's fossilized skull. Initially, the family thought that they found the fossilized remains of an ordinary animal, but the kids in the family decided to take it to the Nova Scotia Museum, where they learned how significant their discovery was. Experts claim that the fossil belonged to a reptile that lived between 290 and 305 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, or the early Permian period. The fossil was nicknamed Superstar by experts, as it's the first ever fossil of a sail-backed reptile discovered in the area. Paleontologists at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax claim that the reptile must have been very young when it died, which could explain its small bones. Usually, creatures like Superstar grow up to nearly 5 meters long and weigh up to 300 pounds. The fossils found by Kitten the dog helped experts learn more about our past. After all, the branch of reptiles that Superstar belonged to is one of the creatures speculated to be the ancient ancestor of most modern mammal species. Number 10. 
man finds bags full of cash. They say money doesn't buy happiness, but let's be honest, it kinda does. Money can get you all the premium things in life, and it can give you access to the most luxurious things. Nowadays, most necessities are also bought with money. That's why it's understandable that a lot of people in the world covet them. Some people in the world, however, prove that their dignity and honesty can't be exchanged for any amount of cash. In 2015, a man in Utah named Dan Kennedy stumbled upon a fortune. The 57-year-old engineer was on his way to work when he saw a Brinks truck, a vehicle that transports money to financial institutions, drop a big orange bag. According to him, the truck's door suddenly swung wide open, but it didn't bother to stop as its load fell onto the highway. Kennedy stopped his car and picked up the bag, thinking it was full of receipts. The man claimed that it looked like a big trash bag, and he never thought it would be filled to the brim with cash. Without any second thought, the man picked up the bag and drove down the highway, expecting the truck driver to realize what happened. However, the truck never stopped and disappeared in the traffic. Kennedy took the bag with him and called the authorities as soon as he reached his office, and without a second thought, he gave the treasury found to the officer. In a later interview, Kennedy claimed that he never thought about keeping the money for himself. He knew that the bag must have contained a lot of money, but he said that he couldn't afford to keep everything for himself. After all, the money could have been the hard-earned salary of several workers, and he couldn't fathom taking something he didn't own. Kennedy was happy and content that he did what was right at the end of the day, but it seems like his good deed was greatly appreciated by Brink's company. Not long after returning the money, the company confirmed that all of the money was recovered. They also gave Kennedy $5,000 as a reward for doing the right thing. Number 9. Witch Bottle Filled With Teeth Contractors in Watford, England made a creepy discovery while demolishing the chimney of a former inn and pub in Watford, England. They found a peculiar bottle while demolishing the establishment, but what made them stop was its contents. The glass bottle contained fish hooks, human teeth, shards of glass, and an unknown liquid, which was most likely urine. Confused, the contractors let the authorities know about the bottle. According to experts, the strange container that the contractors found was a witch bottle. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, Europe was plagued with problems of witchcraft and those who practiced dark magic. However, the hunt for the alleged witches cost the lives of many innocent people. To avoid being affected by witches, several people started creating witch bottles. These vessels filled with different items were believed to have the power to repel witches from establishments and keep their residents safe. In Europe, more than 100 of these bottles were recovered from old buildings and churchyards. The owner of the pub was creeped out by the discovery, but he ultimately decided to place the bottle back where the contractors found it. According to him, it will be a fun Easter egg the new owners can find in the future. Number 8. Medieval Well Under Living Room Floor When a British couple moved into their new home, they were quite perplexed by the uneven floor in their living room. Initially, they shrugged it off, but curiosity soon got the best of them and they decided to remove the floorboard. They didn't expect to find what was underneath. It turned out that they had been living on top of a 33-foot deep medieval well. According to historians, the well dates back to Shakespeare's era. Aside from the well, the couple also found an old rusted sword inside. The couple was initially dumbfounded by what they found, but they soon claimed that they were happy with the discovery. The existence of the well made them love their home even more and made them feel like their house has a deep history. Number 7. Royal Hairpin in the Toilet in 2012, archaeologists excavating the Henry IV Courtyard at Fontainebleau Palace outside Paris discovered something unexpected. In the communal toilet, they found a gold hairpin belonging to the late French queen Catherine de' Medici. Catherine was the queen consort of France from 1547 to 1559. She was the mother of three kings and two kings. At some point, she was recognized as the most powerful woman in France, and perhaps all of Europe. She allegedly did everything in her power to maintain her family's influence and position. One of the things she was known for was her love for lavish jewelry, but unfortunately, most of her collection has been lost or stolen over the centuries. The golden hairpin was one of the few that still exists to this day. However, the reason behind the hairpin's strange location is still unknown. Did the late queen somehow drop her hairpin in the communal toilet? Or was it stolen and accidentally dropped in one of the latrines? Number 6. 
original copy of the Declaration of Independence. Early American printer John Dunlap produced about 200 copies of his broadside of the Declaration of Independence. Today, there are 26 known verified copies around the world. These copies are all incredibly important pieces of history. That's why a single copy of the Declaration of Independence is incredibly pricey. In 2007, a rare 1823 copy of the Declaration of Independence was sold at an auction for a staggering $477,650. What was astounding is the fact that the man who sold it purchased the copy in a dingy Nashville thrift store for exactly $2.48. A total of six bidders tried to win a copy of the Declaration of Independence, and the winner was kept anonymous. The copy was verified, and it was proven to be an original copy of the Declaration of Independence. It was one of the 200 copies commissioned by John Quincy Adams in 1820. Needless to say, the man who bought the copy from the thrift shop definitely hit the jackpot. This goes to show that sometimes thrift shops are worth visiting. You never know if you'll stumble upon a thousand dollar find and buy it for less than three bucks. Number 5. Woman Finds $36,000 Inside Her Couch Craigslist is a pretty good website, as long as you proceed with caution. There are a lot of interesting listings on the website but it can be pretty dangerous if you get caught up with someone who's trying to scam you. But I guess this woman was incredibly lucky with her find. Vicky Omudu, a woman in California, was browsing through Craigslist to search for anyone selling sofas nearby. She stumbled upon the post of a person giving away their sofa for free. The two matching sofas were still in pretty good condition, so she initially thought it wasn't a legitimate post. Still, she tried her luck. It turned out that the owners were actually giving away their furniture for free. The two pieces of furniture belonged to one of their deceased relatives, and they were trying to liquidate everything on the property. After learning that the post wasn't a gimmick, Vicky didn't hesitate to drive to the location and bring the two sofas back home with her. When she got home, she immediately examined the sofa with the intention to clean it up. It was then that she noticed something strange. Inside the cushions was an unknown item. Vicky initially thought it was a heating pad, but when she pulled it out, it turned out to be an envelope filled with cash. Overall, the money inside the sofa amounted to $36,000. Now you would think that Vicky would have kept the cash for herself. After all, the relatives of the deceased were most likely clueless. But Vicky didn't have any second thoughts. Her first course of action was to let the family know about the money inside the furniture. It turned out that the family also found several hundred dollars hidden in other furniture inside the house. They also had no idea why their family members decided to hide cash inside furniture. In the end, Vicky received $2,200 from the family as thanks for her honesty. Number 4. Boy Finds World War II Tank Buried in Mud Children notice things that adults don't. This story will show you why adults should listen to kids and what they have to say. In 2000, a local boy walking by Estonia's Lake Kurtna Matastrav noticed tank tracks leading into the lake. He inspected the surroundings and noticed no other tracks. Curious, the boy observed the lake for several months, and he kept noticing the air bubbles breaking through the surface of the water. A few years passed and the mysterious thing in the lake was buried deep in his memory. Until one day when he heard that the authorities were trying to locate a Soviet T-34-36 tank from World War II. He shared what he saw as a child with the authorities. Men were immediately dispatched to the lake, and there they found the tank submerged in the muddy water. The tank was incredibly well hidden, and it needed to be dug and pulled out of the mud using a rope. It took several men, heavy equipment, and giant steel cables to completely pull the tank out of the mud. After eight full hours of work, the men succeeded in recovering the full-size military tank. Overall, the war vehicle weighed a staggering 30 tons. No one knew how exactly it ended up there, but they sure were impressed by the discovery. Thanks to the observant boy, their search was cut short. Number 3. 500-Year-Old Masterpiece A man from Massachusetts decided to buy a painting that caught his eye at an estate sale. He bought the piece for only $30. He never imagined that what he found would forever change his life. The buyer kept the painting for two years until his acquaintance asked to see it. It turned out that the piece was actually a rare painting made by the famous German painter Albrecht Dürer. The painting was allegedly so magnificent that art experts claimed that it was either the greatest masterpiece they had seen 
or the greatest piece of forgery anyone has ever created. Experts believe that the painting was made around 1503. Before the estate sale, the painting was owned by architect Jean-Paul Carlien. When he died in 2012, his daughters ended up selling the painting under the notion that it wasn't an authentic piece. And boy, were they wrong. The painting ended up being an authentic piece that skyrocketed its worth up to $50 million. Number 2. Big Cat Small cats, big cats, if you're fond of animals, you'll most likely find any of them adorable. That's why a woman in Argentina didn't hesitate to rescue the baby kitten she saw on the street. She fed the kitten and nursed it back to health, and after several months, she decided her kitty needed an appointment at the vet. That's when she learned that the kitten she picked up wasn't a kitten after all. It was a baby puma. For several months, she kept a baby puma in her house and treated it as a house cat. The young puma, which she named Tito, was incredibly adorable, but at the end of the day, he was still a wild cat. The woman allegedly didn't expect Tito to be a wild cat because they found the kitten next to a dead adult cat, which they assumed was the kit's mother. After learning the real identity of Tito, the woman immediately contacted the Horco Mole Nature Reserve, where the animal was transferred over to live in his natural habitat. Number 1. Huntsman Spider you're looking at Charlotte, a giant spider that looks incredibly massive that people think she's CGI. Charlotte was a huntsman spider found inside Barnyard Betty's Rescue in Queensland, Australia. Charlotte might have been incredibly big and she looked like a creature straight out of a nightmare, but according to people who saw her in person, she was an incredibly gentle spider who minded her business. When Charlotte's photos spread around the internet, many jokingly claimed that the creature needed to be killed or burned. However, at the end of the day, spiders are creatures that help the ecosystem they live in. Moreover, most of them just want to live and do their part for the environment. You don't need to worry though. Spiders as big as Charlotte like to live away from residential areas, usually. All these discoveries are pretty interesting, but I'd rather not see a spider as big as Charlotte. Spiders are cool, as long as they're not near me. What about you? Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.